Hey everybody! Today we are going to be talking about false self versus true self. What does that mean? <laughs> Perfectionistism. Is that a word? Probably not. But hey, you already know that I'm imperfect and imperfectionist to the core. And that is how this little Sunday inspiration chat actually began with the imperfectionist art movement. We're still doing that. I've just put that on the back burner for a little bit for now. So the false self is imperfect, but the true self is perfect. How do I know that? Hmm, let's dive into that. Did you happen to catch my late night performance last night? <laughs> Live? <laughs> I worked so hard yesterday on my new website, trying to get everything done on there and trying to get some of the videos loaded and trying to do some things so I can reach some more people. Anyway, I looked up at about 11 40 last night at the clock and I was like oh my gosh I forgot to do my Sunday inspiration chat so I ran in here I fluffed out my hair I turned the lights on and started the live and I stopped it because I was like, okay, that I've got to take a breath. I've got to just take a breath and step back. I didn't know what I was going to say. I was all discombobulated. So I started it a second time. And I got about three sentences in. And I looked up at my computer. And it said Saturday, February 22nd. And I'm like, is it Saturday? I thought it was Sunday. So, mm-hmm. False self is imperfect. True self is perfect. So anyway, that was me last night. So I apologize if you saw me being a crazy person last night. But this morning, as I was doing my morning meditation, and the readings were all about being perfect. And for those of you who may not know, I have this tiny little ministry this tiny, tiny ministry called Art as Prayer. I've got a tag for that, Art as Prayer. And I create every day a digital painting from a photograph I have taken. And I give a reflection on the daily reading, the daily Bible reading. And so today I wrote about, the question for me when I was doing the readings was, how can I be perfect? And the world seems to expect everybody to have a no-mistake performance. No-mistake performance all the time, every time. And that's not really realistic, is it? I don't think so. The notion that we never make mistakes is probably what drives a lot of the disconnect within our society right now. So I want to talk a little bit about living within our true self. And there's a quote I have here from Thomas Merton, who I love. And he said, our true self is at the core of who we are and is rooted in love because it is a gift from God a perfect gift from God. So I thought that was very applicable to today and what I'm talking about. So each of us has a true artist self, but sometimes we create out of our false self, and that's the one that is based on our ego. 
And I know I've been guilty of that for many years. For many, many years, I was, when I came on my social media, I was presenting the perfect Rebecca in the perfect world and everything was happy and everything was joyful and everything was great. And that really wasn't me and that really wasn't real. Um, and so a lot of people liked me and thought I was kind and thought I was happy and all of these things, which I hope that I really am. But it was inauthentic. And I think when I went to work with people online, that inauthenticity <laughs> came through. And I, I, I was sorry, I, I was reading my notes here. But and we see so much of that today on social media. And now, I love social media. Don't get me wrong by anything means. Do not get me wrong. And I worked for one of the original social media companies for eight years. And I am on social media every single day, as you know. But there is some who portray this othering I call it to the max, especially on visual platforms like Instagram. Lovingly, I call these the, these people my all-white home with five kids people. Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those perfect pictures, the perfect all-white rooms with just a hint of gray. And the five little kids, stair-step kids, sitting there with their hair all combed, and they're dressed so well, standing perfectly still. Oh, <laughs> that, I just laugh at those pictures, because it just reminds me of the hints of Stepfords abounding everywhere. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, I had four kids, twins in there also and there was never a time in an all-white house and my four kids were never standing perfectly still with their hair all combed and not messy not four of them all at the same time just didn't happen so we seem to almost expect today no mistake performances from everyone it seems to be an evolution of our modern way of living that has progressively gotten worse and worse over <laughs> or throughout history. But, 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 if we act out of our true self, which to me means love, like Thomas Merton said, then we are. The false self is imperfect, but the true self is perfect. Always, always, always. As an artist, there is kind of a dichotomy, I think, here in a no-mistake performance. I think it's limiting to us somehow. And dichotomy means a division or a contrast between two things that are represented as being opposed or entirely different. Aha, 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 aha. That's contrast. And that's a big and good art principle. Contrast. We try to get that. That's important in our art. <laughs> I can remember an artist friend once told me, and she may even be listening right now, that I was coming to her and saying, I don't think people like my art. What's wrong with it? And I was showing her a few pieces, and she said, I think you need some more contrast there, Rebecca. And she was right. Now, one must be very courageous to show your work to anyone and ask for feedback. I know that. If you share your work online, you will get plenty of feedback. And the more popular you get, the more feedback you're going to get. And some of it's going to be negative. And methinks that is why so many of us uh, creative souls are shy or hesitant about sharing our art out there. We end up with a room or a house or a garage full of creative expression that no one ever sees. 
Am I making sense here? <laughs> Can you relate to that? Okay, so back to my theory. I've got too many notes down here today that uh, about the false self is imperfect and the true self is perfect thing. Artists are mass that I know who are massively successful embrace their true self fully. <laughs> fully, fully. They live flat out unashamed to be who they were born to be. And they can live joyously in or within their imperfectionism. Mistakes don't seem to phase them. Creative accidents lead them down new paths. Their muse takes them to new places all the time, as long as they ignore the no mistake performance thing. I bet you, you, you can name a few of these artists or crafters, can't you? Therefore, I encourage you to get into your creative space. Invite your muse to come on in and then fly away with your tools and materials and supplies. Challenge yourself to use colors that you don't like or to try a technique you have been afraid to try. This is what I am doing every single day on camera in front of you. <laughs> My two cameras. You, you, you. I'm afraid of watercolor. And I'm afraid of lettering. And I certainly don't like the letter, the, the color brown. <laughs> if you have watched my previous vi videos, especially this week, you know these things. So start using your stash that you are saving for something that you can't even explain what you're saving it for. You know I have a propensity to buy and hoard art supplies. I've told you that. That's what this year's about. I am forcing myself to use them in front of you this year. And guess what? In this past 53 days, now this is the 54th video, I have found that it doesn't hurt nearly as much as my scaredy cat self, false self, my scaredy cat false self, my inner mean girl led me to believe all these years that it was really going to hurt if I used those beautiful supplies I've got. Perfectionism. Perfectionist-ism. It's all about balance, isn't it? So this week, I'm issuing a challenge. I want you to walk into your creative space and invite your true self along. Do it. Just do it for me. Please, please, please. Stand there and say these words. True me. And insert your own name there. <laughs> Come with me today. Make art with me. Show me the way to my art. Say it out loud. Even if you feel silly. And even if your inner mean girl shows up, ask her to leave. Order her out. Or better yet, whoops, just tape her mouth shut. <laughs> you can do that. I can do that. Humor me. Just do it, even if you feel silly. Because silly is good. Remember, after 54 days now, we are doers. We are doers. Yay! Give yourself some applause for that. I applaud you who have been on this journey with me. We've made it 54 days. Okay, so this is a little P.S. for today. Dreamers into doers, or did, 
Hashtag 2020 is all about our contagious creativity and getting together. And the more people who join in, the more fun we're going to have and the more growth we will all have by bouncing off of each other. So if you, if you, if you, if you, if you know someone who might want to play along with us, please invite them in. Send them over to Creativa. That's the C R E, the number eight, T I V A, where you are listening to me now on Facebook. And that's where all the videos are living. They're on YouTube. Some of them are on Instagram, but they're all on YouTube and Creativa on Facebook's page. Invite them over to play with us. Share, share this, share the videos you like. Help me, help me create this kind of movement and the contagious creativity that I'm trying so hard to create. And I promise you, I'm going to be back every day this year, even if I don't feel well. This week, I've had a couple of um, bad days. You can probably hear my throat is a little scratchy. And, but I'm getting through this. I'm doing it every single day. I promise you that. Okay, so here we are at the end. And I love you. And I am here to serve you. I am here to help you grow and flourish and use up your art supplies. <laughs> yep, just like me. That's what we're here, because we are doers now. We are becoming doers, and that is the best feeling in the world. May peace and joy be with you all. <laughs>